Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Fun Like or Believe for Cat and a Born Pretty overprint print plate called L003. I've started off with my base coat and I'll be using Paris Nights from Sister Chic Lacquer as my base color. I like to use black for duochromes. It takes less coats of the duochromes and um, magnetics um, in my opinion. Uh, so I do normally start with some sort of color underneath. It might be black or dark blue, but today we're going with Paris Nights. And by the way, my base coat was um, that American Classics, you know, after artificials or starting over or whatever it's called. That's, that's, that's the one I'm using, the one with the blue cap. <laughs> Trying to be very careful not to get this black polish all over my fingers. Trying to cap that super short edge there. And I do keep messing with it, but um, it does take some getting used to um, when you take your nails back short to get used to learning how to load the brush, and that's what we're dealing with today. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Good job. Thank you. I'll be using the Fun Lacquer today. This is a multi-chrome duochrome magnetic and this one was from their fourth anniversary collection it's just so pretty so now that my base color has dried I'm gonna go in one in with one coat here of believe by fun lacquer and I'm gonna hold the magnet over it and I don't really remember where I got this magnet. I might have gotten it off of eBay. There's just no telling. And I'm going to flip my hand around and do it some more. And you can tell it, it makes a different line, but after a minute, you'll see that it did, it looks a little different. Like the, the line is a little fatter. And I think that happens when it dries. So I'm going to top this one with some Sesh Feet Top Coat today what I had sitting out on my desk so on my table I love the magic that happens when you put on a glossy top coat it's just so pretty look at that even on them short short nails gorgeous here's a swatch photo of the polish on its own and here is the born pretty overprint L003 this is the butterfly plate it does have a couple of flowers on it but it's mostly butterflies I'm going to clean it with some acetone and a cotton ball real quick and wipe it with a paper towel. And there we go. We're ready to play. I'll be using Nicole Diary Stampin' Polishes NS01, NS11, NS12, and dun, 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 NS04. I'll be using my Clear Jelly Scraper and my Monocle Stamper. And I'll also be using the Pro FX Sticky Base because we all know that sometimes I need that sticky base for my stamping. Just helps the stamp stick better. I try to apply really thin coats and let it dry just a little bit before I start stamping. Now this plate isn't as just cut and dry as some of them. Some of the layered plates, you know how they're lined up and you just know you start with this image and go on and on and on. Well, I'm not really 100% sure on this one, so I'm just playing with it. And that's what I recommend you do. If you're having trouble with it, just play with it. Look at it. Try to get an idea of what you might, you know, think needs to be done. Like on this image right here, the green one. I think this really, as an afterthought, should have gone on the bottom two wings of this butterfly but I didn't know so it goes going up top <laughs> and I do believe that that should have gone down in the bottom two wings so live and learn you know you have to play with things like this and you can mix and match and you know do whatever you fancy because it's yours you can it's your manicure I'm gonna go in with this purple on this next image getting the excess up with the tape so that it don't end up on my manicure and I'm gonna stick that one on and then for the outline of the image we're gonna go in with silver 
And a lot of these plates can seem really intimidating. I've talked to many of you and we've all discussed back and forth about how we've avoided them because of that. But you gotta play with them. Now I will tell you that overall, I'm pretty happy with this manicure. Um, and I am using a different image. I've decided to play with another image off of this plate. And, um, you know, just play with it. You know, we've got to got to experiment because I love the layered look. I really do like how they turn out. I, I think that they're amazing. Um, my friend Yvonne, Yvonne Lopez from Yvonne Plus Five, I think that's her channel name. She does some amazing layered manicures. She's got it. You know, she's just got it going on. So there we go with that next stamping image. And there's a lot of other really talented ladies out on YouTube that have um, perfected these layering plates. So, you know, if you're really interested in them, I'd go check some of those ladies out. And I think, again, I've put stamps in different areas that maybe they shouldn't have been in, but uh, whatever. Whatever. This one I really did like. I've got another video coming up. I don't know which one will go up first, but... You know, they're, for me, it's playing and it's all good. So, um, you know, if I can stand to wear the manicure for a day or two, I consider it a success, even if it's not like my favorite. So, but this one I did really like. I love butterfly manis. I'm going to top it with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat so that, um, you know, I don't smear that design that I've just worked on. Get that to kind of seal in a little bit. And as you can tell, I only did two nails because a lot of times when I play and I'm unsure of something, that's what I do. I do accent nails. There we go. Very nice. And I will top this one off with some posh top coat to seal it in and consider it finished. It will be done. So there we go. Being sure to cap that free edge. So there you have it. We've got one of these um, plates tried out. You know, they sent me three. So this is the first one. I'm recording a video with one of the other plates. And then I'll have one more to share with you. And I will play with these more. This is not going to be the last time you see these layered stamping plates. I promise. So here's my swatch photo of my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, be good to yourself.